Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Remember, I see you're back at it again with another amazing episode of Fairy Tale, the final chapters, episode 11. And I'm really excited to see what we're gonna get in this episode because from the last couple episodes, we got actually some pretty amazing stuff. I mean, we got a lot of information about Xerath, a lot of information about Fairy Tale, a lot of information about the Alvarez Kingdom, and when we actually saw Makarov talking with the Emperor Spriggan, the leader of the Alvarez Kingdom, and it turns out the Emperor Spriggan is actually Xerath. Like, are you shitting me? How can this be? What? This? That actually blew my mind. And when they were talking about the fairy history, I mean, uh, the looming, the fairy heart with Zeref, and Zeref was trying to kill Makarov just to get Natsu's attention and all that. Holy shit, that was actually way too far. Like, oh my god. But Mess came in at the last second and grabbed Makarov before he actually got demolished. Holy shit. And now, actually, Makarov is back with us. So I'm really excited to see what's going on in this episode. So let's just get right into this. Everybody, let's continue this episode in three, two, one, and play. You hideous demon. Oh shit, that's when he was like actually in the magic sphere of him and about to get crushed. Spriggan actually means hideous fairy. Damn, but Mess came in clutch and saved our Gramps. Let's go. Oh, he was never expecting them. Zeref was there. And Natsu's actually like only like a few hundred meters next by, like what? Holy shit. Oh. I wonder if Natsu's gonna come for Zerif right now. And we're getting straight into the fairy tale opening. Oh, let's go. I'm hyped. Alright everybody, and we're back into this episode. Fairy tale. Final chapters, episode 11, Zerf is here on this continent. I had no idea either. This man knows as Emperor Springer is actually Zerf in the flesh. Bro, that was a shocking moment. Like, what? The Spriggan is Zerf. What? I never thought of that. Like, not even in my wildest dreams. Shit. Yep. I was too naive. They never had any intention of negotiating from the start. I even tarnished our guild's history before journeying west. It was all for nothing. I'd never felt such regret. Come on, man. You thought you did it for the best. You did it for us. It was just for the protection of the guild. You, there's nothing to blame yourself for. Ah, uh, shit. Because that's what you taught us. Come on. We're gonna turn this mess around. Let's go home. Back to fairy tale. Let's go. To the God's Forsaken Land. Now we only need Luxus. Who's this person? <laughs> he doesn't even know because of Charlotte in her transformation state. Only one more time. I'd like us to use that last teleportate to reach Serrano's ship. So we need to head back until we're within range for the ship. Alright. Oh, leaving so soon, Makarov? We just became friends, too. Oh, they're already on your back. Oh, shit. Who's this? 
He reminds me of that Afro dude at Geo. Sand. Sand is nice. It tells me everything. This guy's got much power. As that girl on Kokoro Island. Shit, so another big shot? Is it another one of the 12? Probably. Don't fight him, he's too powerful. Come on, you should know better. We're not gonna run. Everybody's shocked to hear that from Gramps. Like, for real? You heard our master. Retreat! That's an order. Come on. Ezra's trying to make some space. <laughs> A car, shit, Natsu's, and Wendy, oh, no. Oh, damn. Wait, what? Is he like a Logia type? What? Oh, alright. So the sand... Oh, the swords turned into sand instant when he touches him. Alright. They did not actually get stuck in him because he's made of sand. I get it. I thought he could maybe use sand magic on a whole different level. Alright, let's see what he can do. Come on, Erza. She's already pushing it. Holy shit. A fucking sand monster? Like, that's a huge-ass golem. Oh, this is already getting hyped from the start. Let's go. Natsu can't do shit anymore. <laughs> With the thickness on your head. Let's go. Gray and Lucy. Come on, chill. We don't know for sure unless we try. Let's go! Demon Slayer Ice Magic! He's gonna push it. Oh, he looks so damn as Stardust. Sagittarius form. And Lucy too. Yeah, they both leveled up extremely. They're probably gonna stop that thing. Ice makes silver. Holy shit. Instant. He froze the entire area instant. Or did he just make a wall? But he broke through like nothing. Alright. So he's not just fodder? He's coming with some sand aerodactyls or something? <laughs> oh, she's just gonna knock them down. Stop shot. Nice. Lucy actually doing some support. But Lucy's actually not a useless character. Holy shit, let's go. He merged with the sand. Antelon Pit. Ooh. Shit. Oh shit, Happy's drowning in the sand. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't tell me they're getting dragged to some underground ruins. How many cities has it swollen? Because that's what usually what happens, to be honest. Like, if they get dragged underground, there's usually like an underground ruin or hallway or something beneath it. <laughs> no, nah, they're not gonna die here, dude. On a totally different level than you maggots. Ishgar has been forsaken by the gods. But it will fall under Alvarez's control soon enough. Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> Come on, Wendy. Go Dragon Force or something. Oh, Natsu's not gonna let him get played. Forsaken by the gods? Let's go. Cat Shelter logo gone. Let's go. The fairy tale is still around. Woo! They're gonna make up their gods themselves. I mean, he actually killed a god, a god slayer, to be exact, so... Woo! He just knocked the shit out of him. But he's actually standing his ground, alright. <laughs> it's been a while since I took a nice punch like that. Alright, bring it on! Alright, now the fight is actually going down. Dry. 
Oh, he just dried the entire ice out. What? You can turn other magic into sand too? Oh, Gramps. Woo. Oh, he's catching them. He's probably going to just run and throw them away. Oh, the father instinct. <sighs> Oh, this reminds me so much of fucking Acnologia when you first attack and Gramps was like in full father mode. Sans of death will swallow you whole. He's coming with the San Tsunami. Who is this dude? Is he Gara? What the fuck? Holy shit. Bro. He's actually com coming with a San Tsunami. We'll strip the moisture out of everything it touches. Come on, mess. Activate teleport. Just teleport everybody away. Fuck off the distance. Just away. Lux is coming in clutch! Yes! My boy! That's the only dude I know with lightning strikes like that. It has to be. It has to be my boy with the code and everything, Luxus! Looking intimidating like always, and he matured a little bit more. Oh, every time we see this dude, he's every time older, and every time a little bit more powerful. Holy shit, he's actually turning in clutch. One of the mightiest Dragon Slayers just came into the ring. Holy shit, let's go. I'm hyped, I'm hyped. Seen Luxus on stage, now Fairy Tail is actually back! Let's go! All the guild members there. Just where's that Luxian tribe? I smell Levy and Lily too. Wait, but that's a ship. How are you and Luxus not sick? Yeah, ho wait. I did not even notice why they don't get sick. Ah, they've been dragon. Oh, so Dragon Slayers can ride it. It's been special customized. All right. All right. All right. Fairy Tail is complete. Fairy Tail is 100% complete. I think all the guild members are there now. Teleport onto the ship. Running? <laughs> Luxus is here. <laughs> I don't want to miss supper, dude. I'm gonna smash the. <gasps> oh, bro! Atomic bomb. He just obliterated him. Holy shit! Are you serious? Oh. Oh, all right. He actually. All right. Did he not? He doesn't seem to take much damage from that. Oh! Was that barrier you're doing? So he actually got protected by a barrier. Oh, alright, so or else he would have been toast. I can tell. Holy shit. Holy shit. You must be getting senile, August. Oh shit, Luxus. Oh, I don't want to miss supper, dude. <laughs> Boom! Just atomic obliterated the whole area. Shit. <laughs> you made it out guys welcome back let's go master rescue mission complete we're back <laughs> don't tell you run off without us it was a convert operation <laughs> I don't feel sick one bit anyway let's fight Luxus nah dude you're annoying <laughs> Grams. Everybody's back. Everybody is back. <sighs> oh, shit, bro. <laughs> Come pie. I'm actually tearing up of a joy right now. Holy shit. We're back at the guild hall. 
everything like normal well everything right now like, it's still relaxed time we got makarov back we went on the hell of an escort s rescue mission holy shit we actually managed to survive somehow even with Zerif on the stage but Loxus came in clutch and missed those two MVPs of this of the M uh, of the last two episodes holy shit kinda just going full-on drinking mode but I bet something is gonna happen at the end I know it <laughs> I can just smell it Any hospitality work too? <laughs> and it was ever hilarious. Just mind your own business. Did you manage to contact Cerno? Alright, so she actually made it out. Alright. So vehicles affect you too now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've always been that way. Oh. I can't ride in a horse carriage anymore. Is that a big deal for you? Give me, please give me your hospitality too. Oh, Fairtail is the best. I never heard of him. Did it test manly? <laughs> it looks like everything is finally back to normal. But we got the Avalis Kingdom right on her ass, actually. And return to Fairy Tale. As have Luxus and the Thunder Legion. For real, of course they have. We learned that the Elvis Empire on the Western continent is home to wizards more powerful than we ever imagined. Yeah, there were some big ass foes. Also, we discovered that Zeref, the Black Wizard, rules over Elvis under the name of Emperor Spurgeon. Bro, and now he knows about to spring into action about to loom in his store, which is actually our first master's body beneath our guild hall. So he wants Mavis. I don't want to lose anyone. I want to win like always, so we can keep laughing and smiling like this forever. At a time, that was my one and only wish. Is he gonna step up as the new guild master again? As for the third time, or is he actually gonna step down this time? Or everyone? I'm sorry. Mess explained everything. You did it to protect us. Yeah. It's no big deal. Oh no, we're going into battle strategy right now, isn't aren't we? What's more, my plan is orphan nothing. Ours is going to invade. Shit. All right, he's dropping the hot information. There are vast of powers, and they will be coming straight for us. So what? We're just gonna whoop their ass. We fought for a girl time after time. We fought for what supposed, what was supposed to in, uh, important to us. What taught us to be tough. The determ determination made us all stronger. It's not that I'm not scared. It's more like I have a heavy burden. I don't know how to let go of. What is with this music? Whew. I'm never heavy leaving this fun time like this anymore. He's burning the whole mat. Oh, and the Elver's Empire. We have to make a stand. Not to win, but to live. That's what, what we're gonna fight for!
Listen up. We're going to make them regret messing with our family. Let's take him down. Us. This is the one fight we can't lose. <sighs> He's actually slapping out uh, Lily the whole time. <laughs> Oh, what? You did training? Mira needed the training? Holy shit! Nah. So we have another triple S ranked motherfucking mage who was actually in training another year. I did not expect that from Mira. It's about the Lumen history. Formerly known as the Fairy Heart. Alright, let's 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 hear this hot. Perhaps I should do the explaining. Mavis is back. No, eight master. First. All right, all right. This is getting hot. Everyone, very hard has always been our guild's most confidential secret because it holds something that we, well, must never learn of. Oh, it's also important to know why Zero wants it. And about my own sin. It's alright. Damn. Yeah, we got this little beside little insight of the backstory. Of a terse girl and a cursed boy. But don't tell me they're going to make like a recap of the Mavis Zero episodes, right? They're probably going to go a little bit more in-depth on those, I bet. Oh, I'm hyped to see this backstory of the fairy's heart. Holy shit, I am really hyped to see this from Mavis herself. Oh, let's go. Let's go.